Okay, welcome back AutoCAD students. This is Chris Dennis. This is going to be uh, number 11 uh, in the AutoCAD series and today we're going to talk about uh, modifying your dimension style or in other words uh, changing the appearance of your dimensions. Okay, so I have a drawing here that I've dimensioned and um, I'm not exactly happy with the appearance of these dimensions. Um, there's a few things that I'd like to change about how they look. Um, the first thing I'd like to change is the text height. Um, I'm finding that the text height is too large. Uh, the arrowheads are also too large. Um, and the other thing I'm noticing is that it's a four-place decimal. Um, I would like to see a three-place decimal on this particular drawing. And the last thing I want to change is um, I'm noticing dimensions that are less than an inch long, like this radius dimension and also this half-inch dimension down here. Uh, they both have a leading zero before the decimal point. And I really prefer not to see that leading zero um, before the decimal point in any dimension that's less than an inch long. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go into the settings uh, that make up these dimensions. Alright, so let's go take a look at that. So under this um, annotation pull down on the ribbon, we have different styles here. Um, we have text styles, dimension styles, multi-leader, and table. So we're going to go to dimension styles. So let's click on that one. It has a little dimension with a paintbrush. And notice that the uh, default dimension style is called standard. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some changes to that one. So we're going to pick modify. And it brings up the dimension style dialog box. And this is where all your settings are for how your dimensions appear. So the first thing I wanted to change was the text height. So I'm going to go to the text tab. And about halfway down here, I'm noticing text height. And I'm just going to highlight that box. And I'm going to change the text height to 0.1. OK. Um, the next thing I want to change is the arrowheads. So I'm going to go over to Symbols and Arrows. And I'm going to change the arrowhead size to 8th inch or 0.125. OK. Now the other thing I wanted to change um, is under primary units. So under the primary units tab, uh, we have something called precision. And that's how many decimal places show um, on your dimensions. And right now it's at four places. So I'm going to pull that down and change it to a three place decimal. And then down here at the bottom in this same tab is a box called zero suppression. And this is where you can suppress uh, leading or trailing zeros. Now, I want to keep my trailing zeros, so I'm going to leave that box unchecked. But I do want to suppress my leading zeros. And that shows up on dimensions that are less than an inch long. So I'm going to pick that. And I'm all done, so I'm going to pick OK. And then I like to always pick Set Current here, just as a habit, and pick Close. And we should see the dimensions updated automatically. You can see the text is smaller, the arrowheads are smaller. I have a three-place decimal. And notice these dimensions that are less than an inch long, like this radius dimension. Uh, it does not have a zero in front of the decimal point. So um, ultimately, what you'd like to do is uh, eventually set up a template file of your own that has some of these settings in it. And we're going to get into that in another tutorial. Um, but for now, that is a really quick way to change your existing dimension style. OK, hope that helps. And until the next video, give that a try. And we'll catch you on the next one.